Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we have some exciting news for the Linux enthusiasts out there. The Zorin OS team has just announced the beta release of Zorin OS 17, and it comes packed with new features and improvements. Let's dive into the details. Zorin OS 17 derived from the Ubuntu 22.04 LTS, Jammy Jellyfish, brings a refined and modern desktop experience. Powered by the Linux 6.2 kernel and Mesa 23.0 graphics stack, it's promising a lot of goodness for its users. Despite being based on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS with GNOME 42, Zorin OS 17 Beta surprises us with a newer GNOME desktop, GNOME 43. This comes with exciting features like quick settings, full GTK4 theming and advanced window tiling experience, and more. But that's not all. Zorin OS 17 introduces a new multitasking feature called Spatial Desktop, featuring Desktop Cube and Spatial Workspace Switcher. You can activate these through the Zorin Appearance tool under Effects. The Zorin menu gets a makeover too, with a universal search feature and a new All Apps category, making it even easier to find what you need in your system. While it's using GNOME 43, Zorin OS 17 retains some GNOME 42 apps from the upstream Ubuntu 22.04 LTS series. The Zorin team has paid attention to detail to ensure a seamless experience. Among other changes, Zorin OS 17 boasts slimmer status pop-ups, RDP for remote desktop sharing, a streamlined app selection in the core edition, support for newer hardware, and a fresh logo. But wait, there's more. Zorin OS 17 promises two new layouts inspired by the old GNOME 2 desktop and Google's Chrome OS, exclusive to the Pro Edition. And there you have it, 
Zorin OS 17 Beta is available for download right now on their official website. Keep in mind though, this is a pre-release version so it might have some bugs. Don't use it for critical work. The final release is just around the corner, so stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and hit the notification bell to stay updated. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.